Hi everyone, Stacy here on Loom to give you a very quick tutorial in how to use Canva. Just a reminder that Canva is for teachers only, not meant for students because of privacy concerns. Once you have made an account on Canva, you can either click on create a design or you can sort of browse down here in the design anything. I'm just going to click on create a design and uh, let's see, let's go for a poster today. The general rule for Canva is that anything that you select here on the tool side, that's the left hand side, will appear here in your workspace. Uh, let's see, let's just choose a poster. Some of these you will notice have a little crown for pro and then others are just fine as basics. That looks like a free one. Let's see, I really like that template. And of course I can browse around using the templates button. If I wish, I can upload a photo from my own device. I can select photos uh, from, from here. Oh, wow, I love that one. I'm going to click on POW. I'll adjust that slightly, and I want that to be like front and center. Obviously, underneath, I can um, delete some of these things, too. I don't like that title, so let's get rid of that. And let's say I want to add in some text, so I'll click on text and add a heading. And you can see it just plunks it down anywhere. If I use the little uh, crosshairs, I can I can adjust that and shift it. There's some really nice guidelines to show where center is on this too. Uh, let's call this um, library grand opening. And of course, I can adjust as as I wish. The little arrows here that curve those are for if I want to adjust my um, my leveling, my my direction, and let's say um, with that text, I think I'd like to change the color of that. So I'll highlight it, and I'll just come up here. You can see I can change my sizes here, bigger and smaller. I can change my fonts. Uh, let's choose that one, and then I could click on the A for some different colors. Maybe I really like that bright yellow, and I want that to be the case. There we go. So once I think I've got it the way I want it, I can, you know, zoom in and out. Let's say I want to take a really close up look. Oh yeah, that looks good. And then the two little arrows over here will let me present full screen. And assuming that's the way I want it to look, and of course it's not quite there yet, but assuming it is, I can exit full screen and then I can decide how I want to share it. Um, so how about I want to share it with a partner to edit it. I can copy that link and then email it or put it on my blog or whatever it is they want. I can also choose to download here. And I can also do things that are more kind of the pay per view options like print posters. And you can see that uh, that would cost me some money. But in general, you do not need to spend any money with Canva. Uh, and of course, that final button there is more the, um, you know, download, share link, present and record and so on. All right. And then I think uh, one nice thing, if we go back to home, is that all my designs are saved for me here in this all my designs button. So even though I haven't even given it a name, it still has the name of the um, kind of the main text that I put on there and it's all saved and ready to go for me. So once again, uh, that was a very, very quick tutorial in how to use Canva. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye.